Hi everybody, welcome back. Today is a quick video of my book haul from the month of May. So, I went to Stratford-upon-Avon again, a lovely market town and the home of the legendary William Shakespeare. And I really enjoy having a look around the Waterstones there. Very nice shop. And the only thing with Waterstones is that I can't actually leave without buying a book or two. So, I've noticed a couple that were in my wish list on Amazon. So, I picked them up and here they are. First one is The Man in the High Castle by Philip K. Dick. You can check that out, very nice cover. Penguin Modern Classics Edition. And a little bit about the book. There's a quote here from Rolling Stone. The most brilliant science fiction mind on any planet. It's also got an introduction by Eric Brown, who says that this is Dick's finest book and one of the very best science fiction novels ever published. I believe it won a Hugo Award as well. Philip K. Dick's acclaimed cult novel gives us a horrifying glimpse of an alternative world, one where the Allies have lost the Second World War. In this nightmare dystopia, the Nazis have taken over New York, the Japanese control California, and the African continent is virtually wiped out. In a neutral buffer zone that divides the rival superpowers in America, lives the author of an underground bestseller. His book offers a new vision of reality, giving hope to the disenchanted. Can other, better worlds really exist? A uh, colleague at work highly recommended this to me. And I've already got Duandro's Dream of Electric Sheep. So I'm looking to move into, uh, into reading a lot more of Philip K. Dick's work. So this will certainly be one that I'm looking forward to reading in my Horde of the Undead pile. And the second one that I bought for this month is The Long Tomorrow by Lee Brackett. Again, this is part of the SF Masterworks that I've got a few of, a few, uh, I've got a few of the books in this series now. And they all have very nice covers. And it's got an introduction by Pat Cadigan and a quote from the book, the 30th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States. No city, no town, no community of more than 1,000 people or 200 buildings to the square mile shall be built or permitted to exist anywhere in the United States of America. And the plot synopsis, two generations after the nuclear holocaust, rumours persist about a secret desert hideaway where scientists work to understand the forbidden past, even if it means threatening the future. The Library Journal, fantasy at its best. New York Herald Tribune, she has created science fiction to compare with serious mainstream literature. And there's also a bit about Lee Brackett's background and life. So 1915 to 1978, Lee Brackett was an accomplished and prolific writer of fantasy and science fiction, as well as a Hollywood screenwriter. She worked on scripts for films such as The Big Sleep, The Long Goodbye and Rio Bravo, and received a posthumous Hugo Award for the script for The Empire Strikes Back. So quite a body of work. And it's another post-apocalyptic novel, by far Lee Brackett's best novel, a great work of science fiction, says the New York Times. So I noticed that because it's in the sort of post-apocalyptic, dystopian future genre that I love so much. I'm a big fan of uh, things like Fallout, Rage, doing its Dent Borderlands, Wasteland. Uh, the Road that I'm reading at the moment that I'm about halfway through that is tragic but really compelling and it's a great piece of piece of literature so far in my opinion. So I hope that was useful for you. Um, I've included the links to these books on my Goodreads profile which you can check out and there's links all over my videos and on my profile that you can check that out. But again, thanks for tuning in. I'd love to hear your own thoughts on these books. If any of you out there have read them, it would be great, obviously spoiler free, if you could uh, input. But as always, thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next video.